Welcome back to another video. Uh, in this one we are moving out of our house, moving into the bus, and getting going onto our first campsite. Hi, I'm Alice. And I'm Kristen. And, and this, this is our bus. bus. Everything has been quite a mess as we're clearing everything out, packing it, and then cleaning as we go. The whole place is starting to look really empty as we've moved things into boxes. In the past, the garage was absolutely packed with stuff, so it's really strange to see it now completely empty. This garage is huge when it's empty. Over the 10 years of being here, the walls have gotten pretty dirty. Uh, we got a lot of soot marks from when we had candles and things like that. We had originally gotten our washer dryer for $25 off Craigslist, I think. So we're just giving them away. I posted it for free on Facebook Marketplace. Hey buddy, are you helping move the washer? Yeah, I can't carry heavy things. Show the camera. Oh, hi! <laughs> so today is move out day. We are finally moving into the bus itself. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. Okay, here's the first boxes. So we're putting everything away and all this stuff is already things that won't fit. So it'll go to the free table. Hey buddy, are you a good helper? Mm. Well, the first round went pretty good. Uh, we got rid of some stuff. We put a bunch of stuff away. Uh, we're not overloaded yet, but we're definitely feeling the crunch of space. Where do you want the coconut oil? The last thing to do on the inside was to do the carpet cleaning and vacuuming. We had paid someone to do the carpet cleaning about five years ago, but it hasn't been cleaned since then. Thomas does carpet cleaning at the apartments that he works at, so he volunteered to bring that stuff down so that we could do a quick clean for no charge, so that was really nice. Well, we got everything done, but now we can't have the cat inside, so we're enjoying a nice dinner outside with a cat. That's Over actually there. really nice. So tonight will be our first night on the bus. Well, the first night and the second night went really well. The cat did not do the best the first night. He was up all night meowing at everybody and causing a problem. But the second night went well, uh, and we slept through the night really good. So today we just made lunch for three people, and it's been pushing a thousand watts of power for about the last 20 minutes or so, uh, and only used 8% of power. So I think we're sitting good for power on a nice sunny day. The rest of today we'll be getting the house finished out because this is our last night in our driveway and then we move out tomorrow and then campground and then up to Portland. So that's exciting. <laughs> and it turns out we have a ton of stuff. We have been filling this place up and we've mostly had room so far, but everything is pretty full. We're going to be downsizing very soon. <laughs> Well, this is our final move out of the house. We've been here for like 10 years and raised one kid from second grade through high school here. And it's just a lot of memories. So here's a quick tour of the house we were in before we moved into the bus. Oh my gosh, it's raining everywhere. <laughs> okay, hold this one. Is it going anywhere? Okay, ready? Well, that was a mess, but I think we got it fixed. So let's head back to the campsite. We have officially been traveling for one day now. This is our first campsite. It's only like five miles from home, but it's a good start. We already broke our radiator reservoir, but we fixed it in like two hours. With uh, the help of Thomas. We broke the bed. We learned how to handle the gray water and we haven't gone through very much fresh water. No. The nights have been a little tough with the cat. He's definitely having some trouble adjusting to when to sleep, for example. Yes. Otherwise, everything else seems to be going okay. It's more like camping, like I think, uh, which is fine because we both camped a lot. Doing the dishes was a breeze versus camp dishes, which is always it's hard. It's always hard. The water's always cold. Your fingers always freeze. Doesn't <laughs> right. matter if it's 90 degrees out. Oh, and we have a fridge and a freezer, so food That's is pretty handy. easy. But yeah, I think for me, the hardest 
part has been the sleep cycle of the cat. Okay. <laughs> so today we start our drive to Portland. It's about 400 miles or so, and we're only going to go like 55. So it's going to take quite a while to get up there. And then we've got a campsite up there for like two weeks. Two weeks. So that'll be our first like real steady part of our travel adventure. <laughs> uh, hopefully that drive goes well. Otherwise, thank you for watching. And we will keep this channel up as documenting some of our adventures. Yay. Great. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.